to Acme Electric's product information video series. We are excited to bring you a series of videos that will cover everything from basic product information to training and tutorials. Hello, I'm Ken Pagnikoff, Principal Engineer at Acme Public, and I would like to show you our capability of testing custom coils. I have here in this cage a special coil that's made for a customer that has a primary winding that's made for 440 amps and a secondary winding that's made for 120 amps. I have ballasting in here to be able to get the current to share reasonably between the two and give me the two currents simultaneously. Additionally then, I'm going to be able to change the frequency and the current levels and we'll be able to see them here on this power oscilloscope. We'll be able to see current, voltage, and power for each of the two channels as well as the frequency that we're measuring. So let us get started. Close the gauge. Start the system. And we'll begin with 60 hertz. So I'll put in 60 hertz and just a little bit of voltage just to make sure that it works. So I've got 60 hertz in here, and I'm going to put in about 10 volts. And see if the system comes up. Obviously the currents are going up. You can see the power scope is reading about 230 amps, so let me raise that up. And let's see if we can get that closer to 440. All right, we've got 440 amps in the primary coil, and in the secondary coil we have 121 amps. So this is a pretty good balance. We're looking at about 200 watts in the first coil and around 50 watts in the second coil. But this isn't the operating frequency. The first coil has to operate 110 volts. So let me raise the frequency. So if I raise this to 110, I have to raise my current and my voltage. So let's see where I come up. Uh, coming in pretty close, actually. Just let me tweak that up just a bit. And we're pretty close to the target values here. We've got 435 amps in the primary, and we have 123 amps in the secondary. And as you can see here, we are uh, running at 110 hertz. Uh, but that's just the testing that we need for the first coil. If we're going to test the whole system, we actually have to operate at 225 hertz. So I'm going to raise the frequency and the voltage again to get to those conditions. So I'll change the frequency from 110 to 225. And uh, we'll raise the output voltage to get us close, and let's we'll see where we come up. Ah, you can hear the 225 hertz coming up right now. Uh, I see I've got about 200, uh, 430. Let me tweak that just a little higher, and kind of get a good balance here. We're at 434 amps on the primary coil, and 122 amps on the secondary coil. Uh, we see here now we've got power levels that are about over 200 watts on the primary coil and uh, well over 50 watts now on the second coil. What we'll have to do is we'll run this test until it thermal stabilizes and we get the temperature at each of the coils and then we'll be able to measure the correct watts losses at those temperatures. But for right now, this is as far as I can go. So let me turn off the things. So that concludes what we need to do to be able to set the initial currents. And I would like to thank you for joining us for another episode of the Acme Electric Product Information Video Series.